गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू आ सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ पोल साइंस क्लास नाइन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिजाइन पार्ट टू इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड कवर्ड वॉट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्ट्रगल अगेंस्ट एपथाइड एंड टूवर्ड अ न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लेट एस स्टार्ट वी हैड डन दैट वॉट इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन the supreme law of a country containing fundamental rules governing the policy and society in a country we are clear with the meaning of constitution now we start with our next topic why we need a constitution constitution is required to safeguard the interest of common people whether they belong to major community or minor community there are some basic rules for all the white agreed to the principle of majority rule and one person one vote they also agreed to accept some basic rights for the poor and the workers the black agreed that majority rule would not be absolute so they wrote down some rules which everyone had to obey and all future government would have to follow these rule made up the constitution of the new country so it can be concluded that the constitution of a country is a set of written rules that are accepted by all people living in a country we need constitution for fulfill or we can say we need constitution to fulfill following task it generate a degree of trust and coordination among people that is necessary for the different kinds of people living together secondly we need it it specify how the government will be constituted and who will have the power to make this decision third it lays down limit to the power of the government and also specifies the right of the citizen fourth it also expresses the aspiration of the people about creating a good society these are some of the basic rules why we need a constitution we need a constitution to fulfill all these following task it is necessary to limit the power of the elected government lest it may misuse the power these rules safeguard the right of the people the only way to build and maintain trust among diverse groups of people having differences of opinion and interest is to write down some rules that everyone should obey so everything is written and that written set of rules and regulations is known as constitution now we start with our next topic making of the indian constitution the british left the decision to the rulers of princely state that is to merge with india or pakistan now next is the part to constitution the sense of creating the indian constitution had evolved during the freedom struggle there were different views regarding what path india should take after independence but some basic ideas were accepted by everyone these basic ideas were pivotal in the formation of the indian constitution there are some discussion on the important topics let us discuss that in 1928 motilal nehru and eight other congress leaders drafted a constitution for india at the karachi session of indian national congress in 1931 the leaders decided how the indian constitution should look like universal adult franchise right to freedom and equality right to minorities etc was some important topic that were discussed 
सम बेसिक वैल्यूज आर एक्सेप्टेड बाय ऑल लीडर्स मच बिफोर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली मेट टू डेलीब्रेट ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन इलेक्शन फॉर प्रोविंशियल लेजिस्लेचर एंड मिनिस्ट्रीज वो हेल्ड ऑल ओवर ब्रिटिश इंडिया द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अडोप्टेड मैनी इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिटेल एंड प्रोसीजर फ्रॉम कॉलोनियल लॉ लाइक द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव आफ्टर ईयर्स ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड डिस्कशन आर लीडर्स गॉड द कॉन्फिडेंस टू लर्न फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज बट ऑन देअर ओन टीम टर्म्स many of our leaders were inspired by the ideals of the french revolution the socialist revolution of russia the practice of parliamentary democracy in britain and the bill of rights in the us now we discussed about the constituent assembly election to the constituent assembly were held in july 1946 in the first meeting it was held in december 1946 after partition of india and pakistan the constituent assembly was divided into constituent assemblies of india and pakistan the constituent assembly that wrote the indian constitution constituted 299 members the assembly adopted the constitution on 26 november 1949 and it came into effect on 26 january 1950 to mark this day we celebrate 26 january as a republic day every year the constitution does not reflect the view of its members alone but express a broad consensus of its time over the years several group have questioned some provisions of the constitution but no large social group or political parties has ever questioned its legitimacy this is an unusual achievement for the indian constitution on the world stage another reason for accepting the constitution is that the constituent assembly represented the people of india it could not be chosen directly by all the people as there was no universal adult franchise at that time the constituent assembly was elected by the members of the existing provincial legislatures this ensures a fair geographical share of member from all regions of the country now let us discuss or understand the working of constituent assembly how the constituent assembly work the assembly was dominated by the indian national congress which included a variety of political and regional groups of people in social terms the assembly represented members from different language group caste classes religion and occupation finally the constituent assembly worked in a systematic open manner which gave a secret quality to the constitution the drafting committee and the constituent assembly how it works first some basic principle were decided and then a drafting committee under the chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar prepared a draft constitution for discussion the discussion of the draft constitution took place clause by clause the member of the drafting committee completed the work in 114 days means 114 days spread over 3 years more than 2000 constitutional amendments were made every document presented and every word spoken in the constituent assembly has been recorded and preserved 
these are called constituent assembly debate all the words what was spoken at that time or the document represented they all are recorded and preserved and they are called as the constituent assembly debate and have been printed in 12 bulky volumes these debates provide the rationale behind every provision of the constitution and are used to interpret the meaning of the constitution there are some important members also involved in the drafting of indian constitution one sardar vallabhbhai patel he was a lawyer and leader of bardoli peasant satyagraha he was deputy prime minister and minister of home information and broadcasting in the interim government he played a decisive role in the integration of the indian princely state some other members are abul kalam azad dr rajendra prasad hc mokaji baldev singh i will share with you about some others also pandit jawalal nehru he was prime minister of the interim government lawyer and congress leader he was an advocate of socialism democracy and anti imperialism sarojini naidu she was a poet writer and political activist she was among the foremost women leaders in the congress later on she was appointed as governor of up abul kalam azad he was an educationalist author scholar of arabic congress leader and active in the national movement he opposed muslim separatist politics these are some of the people who were involved in drafting of constituent assembly that's all with this chapter this session we will discuss further